juggernaut. You have a lot of big running backs that are on bye weeks this this week. Tony Pollard, Zeke, Shaquan, the list goes on and on and on. The San Francisco 49ers did chase, ch- trade their running back, Jeff Wilson Jr., to Miami. Tell me, like, how do you feel about Zach Wilson, or sorry, Jeff Wilson Jr. going forward in the Miami uh, Dolphins uniform? I talk so much trash about Zach Wilson, you just can't get him off the mind. Yeah. <laughs> so no, I not I'm I'm honestly not a fan of that trade for Miami. I mean, it makes sense to for the backup part of it because they traded. Edmonds out, but Jeff Wilson is built a lot like Raheem Most- Mostert. Right. And I'm like, what are they doing? Just taking the Niners backfield and rebuilding it in Miami. Uh, so I'm I'm not a big fan of that trade. Um uh, I, I do know that they did it because uh you know the the coach there in Miami was obviously a, a Niner disciple. So you know he's familiar with him and that's why he brought him in because it's it's gonna be a less of a learning curve for him. But to me, he's the exact same back that you had with Raheem. So I don't, I, that's where I don't get the move. Like I could see if it was a kind of a change of pace type back thing, but it's not, it's not really. So right. I'm not a fan of that move at all. So if you have him on your fantasy team, all like already at like, like I do on one of my family leagues, is he a guy that you should keep or kind of maybe just send off to the wayside? Oh, at this point, tough to call. Um, uh, I would wait and see what happens this weekend. But the thing is, he's the clear cut number two at this point. Mostert's going to be the number one back. He's probably going to take more carries now that Edmonds is gone because Edmonds is like I said would would get the rock and he was more their receiving back anyways. Right. But now that that's going to fall a little bit more on Mostert for about two to two to three weeks until uh, Wilson gets completely acclimated to the offense. You know, for a lot and a lot of there again, because he came from San Francisco, a lot of the stuff will just mostly be verbiage changes for him. So his his curve would be a little quicker. So I would honestly hold on to him for now. I wouldn't start him. I wouldn't put him in my lineup at this point. I would monitor it. Um, and if you see in a couple of weeks that like his workload's not increasing, then I'd probably be like, see you later. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile, as we see. 